Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is going to be an introduction to a new series that I'm going to start doing on the channel. It's going to be the search for my perfect traditional, like the one that I find works best for me. So far I have five traditionals. I'm waiting on two to get back at the moment. Um, one is a large trapper. It's an old timer trapper, and the other one's a pal. You can see them on Slick Slice's channel. You can see them on a UK Legal Carries channel, and soon you'll see them on here. Yeah, so far, I got this, which I like it, but the blade's so like really thin and like it's carbon steel, so it's. I'm not good at maintaining these things that well, unless you're on the bottom edge, so um, it's got a couple of marks and everything on it, you can see that's from, I think that was from pull through sharpener, it's either from pull through sharpener or how bad I am at using my landscape, but handle size, pretty perfect for me, I actually do like how thin the handle is, like, you know, um, I can't remember what Paddy called these things, but I like that most traditionals have that. Because I am clumsy AF. I like a matchstick pull, which that is perfect for me. And this is one of my favourite patterns, and I will be getting more of these to see whether I like smaller versions, whether there's versions that are better centred, because if you can see, this is super off centre. Uh, and see if this versions with better steel. Now, this is a knife I got bought off Paddy. It's in the same steel as this. That's why they have the same like, scales. Um, can't remember what. I think this is. I will have the name of these in the description. Um, I don't even have a title for this yet, so. You'll know what the title is by the video. Um, but yeah, I like this blade, how thick it is and like how wide it is. I can get like better sharpening on it and stuff. Um, something I am not a fan of on traditionals is when they had these tiny little pen blades. I'm sorry, but I don't find a use for them. They're just an inconvenience for me, to be honest. But... I do like that this has two because um, when I have used this, I kind of use this as a fork. These two, because <laughs> this is like my dinner knife. So, bink. And I usually have like one of these. Bink, bink, done. Yeah. So, that's, that's what I use them for. And again... I am um, poop at maintaining these. If somebody in the comments could give me some tips and hints on how to, it would be much appreciated. But if you can see, I think you can, I don't know how well you can see the little rust spots. I'm really bad at maintaining them. Ow, just nearly cut myself then. See, super clumsy with them. I like, that is, it's not really that thick. It's not as thick as like, let's say this. Which was a gift from my friend Brad over at Mile Man of EDC. Why star? Blowing this knife. Super drop tree. But yeah, back to these. Um, so let's pull them to one side. Now we get onto the one that I'm really super enjoying myself at the minute. This teardrop jack. I'll, I got this off of watching um, Big Red EDC's review. Because it was epic. Again, matchstick pull. This blade, I think, is stainless steel. But whatever it is, it's easier to maintain. Your 440 razor sharp steel. Uh, I like how it fits in my hand. Like, it's wide here. You know, perfect grip for me. Let's do a little bit of slicing. And at the minute, this is my main traditional that I take out with me. Because um, when I go out... My EDC usually consists of a 
traditional, which is my third. A smaller blade, well this has a small cutting edge, but like a smaller blade with cutting edge like that. And something along the lines of this, because this is my current DDC setup. So like that. Yep. And uh, it usually, yeah, I know, I know they have deep carry pocket clips. And yes, people will say, why do you have it in a slip? Well, this is the UK and the police are a bit meh. Some of them aren't like trained up on the UK laws. So I like to keep it as deep as possible. And I find just throwing these in a slip. Um, means that there's no pocket clip showing on my pants. He says that he struggles with the damn pocket clip. Anyway, <clears throat> yeah, there we go. Yeah, I found that there's no pocket clip. Like, yeah, so I then mean, I clip them on. It's just for added security because I'm afraid they're gonna fall out my damn pants. That and then I usually. Throw because most traditionals aren't that wide. I will usually throw this in the pen loop because my pens are in other places in my carry. And that'll usually consist like that, slot in my pocket. <laughs> so, perfect traditional for me would be something kind of like this. Like, I'm not, like, if you notice the handle size is about the same, something like that, get a full grip on it, something like this steel. I don't find this quite perfect, like, I'm trying to, I'm going to test whether I find anything better, like, that's the journey I'm bringing you guys along with me, to see, like, I'm going to get all different traditionals, different handle materials, different steels, different patterns to see which one I like best, which one works best for me. And I'm going to keep you updated and bring you along. Yeah, that's what this is an introduction to. <sighs> Sorry if it sounds like I'm rambling, just a there's a bit of information to get out. I'm trying to get it out precisely whilst doing this without the script. Um, but yeah, so some kind of like this. I like this, but I would I, I like this is going to be in a copper EDC man, but um, I like wood scales. I think I'm going to test all different hand materials to say this, but yeah, all different makers, all different materials, all different blades to see which one I like best, which one works for me. Suggestions super welcome in the comments. Um, Ideas, things, I'm open to everything. Feel free to hit them in the comments. If you want to get in touch with me directly, my Instagram is edc-life-yt for YouTube. Um, feel free to message me there. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.